In this video, we examine solving a system of inequalities. So we have this set notation here, which is for system. And we have our two different linear inequalities. Now, in some of the previous videos, we saw how to graph these guys individually. And what we want to do now is to look and see what happens whenever we graph them together. We want to be able to find their uh, solution. Uh, basically, we want to find out where their shadings intersect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this linear inequality right here. Now this guy, he's already solved for y, so it's very nice for us. We can easily find the slope, and we can find the y-intercept. Now remember, since this guy is equal to, we know that this line is going to be solid, and he's going to be shading, since it's less than, he's going to be shading below. So we're going to put that information together. So we're starting here with the y-intercept of 0, negative 2, and a slope of positive 3, so up 3 and to the right 1. Now we do have a solid line. That's why I was able to do these nice filled in points. So just connect the dots. And we have our line. Now, we do need to be shading below, but I don't want to shade the whole thing just yet. I need to make little notes to understand that I am going to be shading below this guy. All right. Now what, what I want to look at is graphing the other linear inequality. Now, just by looking at this other guy, we can see that we need to be a dashed line we know it's going to be dashed because I'm greater than but not equal to and I will be shading above. This guy has a slope of one half and a y-intercept of positive one or zero positive one. Since this is a dashed line, any point that I plot needs to be an open circle. So we start here with our y-intercept here at zero one and we use our slope of one over two so going up one and over two. These are nice open circles because we do not actually get to include those points on the graph itself. And we have a dashed line, so we're just going to dash our line out right here. And for this line, we're supposed to be shading above. So when we shade above, we know that we're going to be going up. Now I'm not shading the whole thing, just putting the arrows here to show me where I need to sh shade at the very end. Now look at where both this green line and the blue line are shading. What's that common area that they have? We need to be shading above this line and then below this other line. So that means that this whole region right here where these arrows are pointing, that is going to be our intersection where the shadings for each of these guys will intersect. And there you have it. So we shade each line individually where we graph each line individually, we look at where the shading is supposed to be. The shading for the blue was below, the green was above, and so it matched up with this area right here.